Why do you never answer on Telegram? Well, I'm a scientist. I barely have time to answer some of my emails. I've been involved in the field of quantum computing since my, since my PhD, so I was in the field of quantum optics. What is the current state of quantum research now? The main problem is that we need to make qubits more robust. It's like classical computer works very robustly, but quantum systems they're fragile, and then there are several architectures and solutions how to make them more robust. And now we're at the stages we are building better quantum simulators with decentralized networks. And I'm proud to say that we have tens of thousands of devices, miners, GPUs in this network, and it's growing up. Good morning, Planet. We are here today at MIT Museum, and we were able to catch Mikhail Shalaginev finally to answer a few questions the community used to have for him for a long time. Uncatchable. But here you are. You won't go anywhere for the next 15 minutes. Let's be quick. At least. <laughs> we have a lot of questions. Let's jump right into They are random. If you don't want to answer any of them, we'll play cards. If I win, you'll answer anyway. Tough game. Start. What do you actually do for life? Are you a quantum person at all? Yes, I, I am a quantum person. So I'm a quantum scientist working uh, on the development of the quantum computers, actually building the top-notch quantum computer based on atoms. Uh, and that takes most of my time. And I also um, quite deeply involved into project of such as Qubitcoin. Nice. Next. <laughs> Are you considering a crowdfunding your Qubitcoin project to get listed on exchange like Max or any other large exchange? Oh, that's a tough question. I wouldn't try to answer this. Um, because this is like financial related. I mean, this is definitely on my mind, but um, we'll keep it keep it close for now. You are rejecting to answer this question? Yes, I do. Can we play cards? <laughs> okay. Let's test your luck. Just pick a random. And if your card is higher than mine, you win. Otherwise, you lose. And ace is the smallest. higher than everything except of two. I see. OK. So I'm not answering this question. Feeling lucky. <sighs> nice. That tells us something about the project. Next one. Do you expect any competition from Google, IBM, or government-backed super computer projects? How would you behave if you face this competition? Well, I see that it would be great if either of them would join our league, our our blockchain. So they'll be they'll be part of it. Uh, so I mean, the, the more the more big players we bring there, the better the, be, the better for the project. I want to elaborate on this question. This is question from community and what kind of competition also these companies can provide. For you um well there could be there could be several scenarios of how they can be involved on one side since it's listed uh, for example companies like google and ibm everyone knows they're not only like software or it companies they're also quite deeply involved in the development of quantum hardware quantum computers so we definitely want to bring quantum computers and i see that even uh, the the coin could be a benchmark task for those quantum computers because they are at least Google, IBM, yes, they are both like superconducting ones, but everyone is building them in a different way, mm -hmm. and there is no really a, a single task on which they can um, kind of show their performance. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like more like opportunity for partnership than competition. Definitely love it. Are you seeking support from any US-based investment funds, such as Coinbase Ventures? 
Uh, yes, we do seek support, uh, not necessarily, not just limiting ourselves to Coinbase Ventures. Yeah, um, extra investment to expand the team. Uh, that's what we're doing. What kind of partnership would that be? What kind of support? Well, this is on the financial side, right? Is it uh, US-based investment fund? So I, I would read it as some VC money. So instead of just cashing out the Qubit coins, uh, we would prefer to keep it growing the community. Instead of just dumping the coins, we could we could leverage the um, the venture capital money. What's your inspiration in quantum field? Is anyone particular? Mm. Let's play cards. Fine. Why are you hiding this information? I think I'm winning some time to think about it. <laughs> Ah, uh, I lost. Have to answer it. Um, quantum field. Is it who are alive or dead or anyone? Doesn't matter. I see. Actually, um, I recently, a few years ago, I met with John Clauser. And he received Nobel Prize for doing the experiments on quantum entanglement. And it was interesting the way that he's very contrarian. Uh, and at some degree, this is how I find myself. And even for Qubit Coin, this is, a, I would say, an unusual project in the field of quantum because everyone tries to build quantum computers and show how they're much better than classical ones. And on our side, we're uh, trying to go a different way and show that, oh, can we actually engineer uh, classical hardware or like the transistor-based hardware so that it can create a... Um, a, 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 it can become a competitor or something which will fuel the competition between classical versus quantum computers. So, John Clauser. This is also the guy who tried to disprove the quantum mechanics, but uh, it turned out he actually quelled the helped the development of quantum mechanics. Can you relate? Definitely. Interesting. Yeah, I, I watched this interview. It's on your podcast, right? That's right. 6.32, yes. Oh, that's my favorite one. I also can relate. Why do you never answer on Telegram? Well, I, as I told you earlier, I'm a scientist. So most of my time I'm building, acting. I barely have time to answer some of my emails. Uh, I would say like most of the emails, so... I spend not not a lot of time, but I, I still try to keep an eye on what is happening. So I'm 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 seeing I'm I'm in um, uh, I'm aware of what what is happening there. But okay, are you engaging with any companies in the United States? Do you have initiatives for potential uh, partnerships? I guess. Yes, yes, we do. And this is one of the way how we're expanding the project. So we do want to um, cooperate and get some partnerships. So, for instance, as you know, our miner, the default option of it is is based on Cook Quantum, and this is the uh, the solution which comes from Nvidia. So, for example, uh, we're definitely looking forward to cooperate with Nvidia and kind of push forward the frontiers of quantum simulators with them. And on the other side, there are quantum computers companies, uh, for example, INQ, um, INQ, Quera, IBM. So we look forward to uh, bringing their computers to the stage as well. How close are you to execute something like that? It's coming. Stay tuned. Fine. Sounds like a long one. I don't know what's said here. Oh, should I <laughs> it read? wasn't my spelling. All right. What's the hundred X outcome uh, if you have adoption from QC companies? So it's related to a previous question. Essentially, if we uh, if we have successful cooperation with the quantum computing companies, I think the main outcome will be that we'll finally get a 
high performance useful quantum computers because um it's it's like uh as i see we we're, we're just adding this extra fueling force to uh to keep the momentum of the quantum computing development so 100x better quantum computers or 100x 100x better quantum simulators that sounds like a fantasy no Sci-fi. no it's it, it's just a matter of time. What is the current state of quantum research now? Well, quantum research uh, nowadays, what is going on? So you can see there is a broad landscape of both startups and big companies trying to bring their solutions for quantum computers. The main problems is that uh, we need to make qubits, or like the elements of uh, the circuits, more robust, like they are very fragile and there are high error rates. Um, it's like classical computer works very robustly, but quantum systems, they're fragile. And then there are several architectures and solutions how to make them more robust. Um, so that's definitely what is called quantum error correction. We need better qubits, high fidelities for, for the gates, for the computation, so we can uh, compute for longer time, compute with higher precision. Uh, and another direction is scaling up the number of qubits because um, highly promising um, algorithms such as Shor alg algorithm, for example, uh, it would require thousands of high quality qubits and none of the companies have it right now. So I think definitely Shor's algorithm is, is one of the guiding stars, but I think there will be and are already uh, some kind of byproducts or um, satellite kind of problems on the way to um, to scale up quantum computer and make it better. One more question: How did you choose to build Qubit Coin in the first place? Yeah, I, I've been involved in the field of quantum computing since my since my PhD. So I was in the field of quantum optics and. One day I met with someone who was trying to apply optical computing for blockchains. So I think optics kind of united us together and we're thinking how can we leverage, how can we connect the two things which are not really connectable from the first point of view. So this was like uh, a contrarian uh, option maybe. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Let's find some points of contact. Uh, and the first idea was like, let's say, how can we bring quantum computers? How can we make them useful? How can we bring more money for the development? Um, so that was the original thought. And then it kind of started to spin out. And now we're at the stages, we are building better quantum simulators with decentralized networks. And I'm proud to say that we have tens of thousands of devices, miners, GPUs, um, in this network, and it's growing up. That's inspiring. While our producer stepped away, we can sneak one more question. Okay, let's do it secretly. That's a good one. Does anyone on your team has an experience in blockchain? Do you know what you're doing? Yes, we do. In fact, as you can see, this blockchain is up and running. So we have blockchain experience. Uh, and we have advisors who, uh, who, who advise us how to do it properly. Nice. Okay, let's keep it a secret that it was the last question. We are out of time. I hope we answered most of the questions community had. And we'll try to catch Misha one more time soon. Thank you. Thank you, Misha. Good time together.